Greetings everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mo Clever. And of course, the additional mods we're using are State Transfer Tool mod and Player of the Peace Conferences, but let us begin with a focus. And of course, we're playing with the Russian Republic, a new Better Russia. Oh look! Very descriptive, but as you can see on screen, I've already set up things ready for us to go. And welcome to the Russian Republic. It is currently in a very rough shape. After we managed to defeat the Bolsheviks in 1924, problems in the Republic soon began to escalate. The country has been ravaged by a year-long civil war. They still have had to continue with the shipment or payment of the Treaty of brest litovsk The military is in poor fighting condition due to the civil war and the Veltkrieg, and the government is facing lots of problems. The government is too diverse to make proper changes to strengthen the Russian Republic for Mother Russia. Now, why am I playing as the Russian Republic? I, mean, I guess we could have take, taken and played as the Socialist Republic of Transcaucasia under Daddy Stalino there. But I decided to do the Russian Republic because I've played as the United States of Austria-Hungary. Uh, I'll let you know the victory of the dual monarchy mod. It's about what if Austria-Hungary won World War I. So, it is what it is. I played as them once, and they were fun. However, I know that at the time of this recording, actually the dev contacted me, and he said that uh, some nations have gotten some bug fixes. They've got expanded a little bit more reworking for some nations. Russia, the Russian Republic, is not one of those nations. But I chose the Russian Republic to begin. Oh. Uh, it is time to continue with Brest Litovsk payments. That, okay, whatever. Um, but I chose the Russian Republic just because I want to watch the world burn. And with the Russians, we always get a little bit of conflict with some commies if we're not commie already. So I decided, you know what? In the end, we'll probably go to war with Germany and Austria-Hungary. So I just wanted to take a nice quick look and see how Russia fares. And really more about watching the world burn. That's really what I, what I want is Russia. I want to watch the world burn as much as possible. So this way, when I go to play as the Ottoman Empire, which did get, at the time of this recording, a rework, or maybe a few things change, which would be nice, as well as Austria-Hungary, which I don't remember the focus too much. He's handsome, man. Look at that guy. Uh, Industrial Overplans, Legacy of the Weltkrieg, so... Ausgleich. Ooh. I'll continue with the payment. Again, okay, cool. The cost is a little bit more political power. Okay, withdraw from dualism. Interesting. Uh, I will play as Austria-Hungary again sometime. Power of the Habsburgs, very cool, very cool. But not yet. Uh, I want to play as the Ottoman Empire eventually. Of course, the Socialist Republic of Transcaucasia. I'll get to Bulgaria, hopefully Romania, Serbia, because they barely got like reworks and stuff. But a new, better Russia, my friends. Now, this focus tree isn't huge. But maybe we'll play as the Russian Republic twice. I don't know. But let's see. We can support the National Center. Or we can restore the House of Romanov. Hmm. That's might lead to civil war. The supporters of President Kerensky if stability is too low. Well. Let's see. Revive the Constitution or expand civilian influence. Normally, I like to go bureaucratic or you know autocratic. I really mean establish a gold standard. Interesting. I kind of want to go with ooh, revise the Constitution. How many people actually choose to support the National Center? Obviously, it's probably going to be maybe a little bit more fun with the House of Romanov. But I want to go to the National Center. Let's try that. Our National Center is a very diverse coalition who leads our government. We should support them to make Russia more stable. Now, I don't plan on this campaign being extremely long. The focus tree obviously isn't super long. And we're led by President Alexander Kalinsky. And we're quite democratic, which is... Okay. Savinkov. Glad to meet you, sir. Savinkov. Now we get point eight. Not too bad. And our national spirits. Uh, we have a stagnated economy, which uh, looks not great. We have victory of the Russian Civil War, so we have stability, war support, and we get don't generate war to limit, generate war goal tension limit, guarantee tension limit, justify war goals times, as well as ideology to defense. As you can see, we just got some fuel storage here, which is not bad. I'm going to keep doing that just so we can make some rubber. That's probably the big thing there, as you can see, what we're doing here. We're doing the first level of tanks here, which is okay. Uh, what else do we have here? I, I, I haven't explored this at all, so ineffective government, so that hurts us. Ooh, sure. Why not? Wow, more daily political power costs, less consumer goods, less stability, less construction speed. With Eastern Orthodox Church, rise up Orthodox Gang. And we have the Treaty of Brest Litovsk payments, which is okay. And we're currently building up a lot of civilian factories here. Well, not too bad. Uh, start economic reforms. Oh, effect of the Vienna stock market crash. Well, we can't do that yet. Oh, we can't do anything else here yet. Okay, well, I guess we'll do with our army modernization. It's only 35 days. More army XP, which is nice. So, obviously, eventually, I'm pretty sure we'll end up going to war with these guys down here under Josef Stalino. So... And we have Mr. Denikin up here, which is cool. He's a logistics wizard, level 4. He's an old guard, which isn't great, but, you know, level 4 attack, skill 4 attack, skill 3 defense, not too bad. And be offensive. Oh, what is this? New payment. Cool. Basic machine tools, very nice. Let's grab some to disperse industry because we can. And let time go on. So after this, we'll focus on cavalry. Oh, industrial investments. 
Oh, infantry 10% and 50% for attack and defense. Oh, that's not bad. Rokosovsky. Or Vasilevsky. Uh, cavalry is okay. We don't, honestly, our army literally has no cavalry in it, so there's no point for us to even choose cavalry. So, because this is our, this, he's literally just leading all infantry. It's literally all infantry and all tanks, even though these tank divisions do have cavalry in them. Since our army is so focused on infantry, I think we'll just go with the infantry side. Ooh. Um, I'm not sure this is going to be good or not. We'll do that anyways. Let's go ahead and do expand civilian influence for more stability. Not too much here, but that's okay. We're just going to blitz through this, hopefully, pretty darn quickly. Also, in this mod, with the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod, uh, the USA ha still has the same generic, not generic focus tree, but the same U United States focus tree, if I remember from base game, which, when's the last time I actually played as base game USA, so. And I still have yet to do reestablish a gold standard, and uh, basically have another civil war, because it's, to me, the American Civil War in Hearts of Iron 4 just isn't very interesting. It's not a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's wonky. It's, it's not cool, at least in my opinion. But that's just me. I doubt the Paradox devs are watching me, so... If they are, please let me know, Paradox devs. I always forget to send them an email when a new DLC comes out, so... Oh, well. And as you can see, we're making a lot of guns. Our deficit isn't very good, but my goal is to focus on tanks and guns in this campaign. No matter how long or short it may last. Support the president? Ooh, let's do this one. Improve the bureaucracy? It's a 70-day focus, but that's okay. We get 100 political power. We get more political power, stability, construction speed, ideology, direct defense. Very nice. We have the National Center, which is democratic, which is Daddy Valensky, or Kerensky, not Valensky, a new payment, I'll write them. We have the KBP, which are a bunch of radical socialists under Semyon Zavoyko, which sounds familiar. National Daddyism, Konstantin Radzevsky, and House of Romanov, but Grigori, bad enough. Also, I do want to let you know, for this campaign, for the version of Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod, we are on version 1.03.2, Quality of Life, Part 1. So this mod is worked on, or is continuing being improved, being worked on with a small little dev team, according to their Steam page. Um, if I remember correctly, the link to this mod will be, hopefully, the first link in the description below, if you'd like to try it out for yourself. More payments? Not bad. I wonder if this war is going to start. Oh, stock market in Vienna has collapsed. It's a black day. Oh, stocks. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> awesome. Also, do we have a faction at all? No, we're, we're independent. Oh, the Odona Adria Pact. Oh, they got Ukraine. Oh. Also, we have so much fuel. Oh, we don't actually have a lot of fuel. Let's go and train our shippies. And Mikhail Kedrov. Oh, Nestor Monastryev. Cool. Good luck. The effects of the Vienna stock market crash reaches the Russian Republic. On Monday, August 3rd, the stock market crash of Vienna opened its doors with yet another major decline in value compared to last week, but at this time it caused massive chaos among the shareholders who tried to save their invested money. This caused several Austro-Hungarian banks and companies to go bankrupt. And we are also feeling the effects of the crash on countries facing an economic depression. My goodness. We removed stagnated economy, which is right there, and replaced it with even worse stuff. I'm not touching that. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, and for now, we might as well just train our soldiers. We don't have any guns anyway, so... Boom! There you go. Cool. Good luck, guys. We're gonna not have any money. But then again, I'm already over $20,000 in debt. What is money? At least it's down on this recording. And our guys are about 18 combat width. Well, artillery's nice, but I want more tanks. There you go. Cool. Good luck with that. Only 15,000 guns out. A new payment. Let's hope it ends soon. That'd be very nice. Next up, what do we have? Research speed, don't mind us. Start of the October payment. War propaganda, anything else here? Not really cancel them. Oh. We're canceling remaining stuff. Uh, canceled. Well, that's not bad. I don't want to piss people off yet, so. Let's go ahead. Oh, we can do this. Start reform, economic reform. Support, support President Kerensky. National workplaces. Oh, both are really good. Reorganize our taxation. All right. Hmm. It's not bad. Ban radical socialism. I like all this stuff. More political power. He's a rabid anti-communist. I want to support him. Let's go with that one first. Just because... Ooh, look at all that political power we got. Oh, we can improve working conditions. We might want to do that too. Or we could go straight for more war support. Captain of Industry is not bad. Let's get some more daily army XP, perhaps? Land Doctrine. Oh, Boris Shapshnikov. Oh, no. Shapshnikov. Shaposhnikov. 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 Not bad. Cool. We should have tech done in three weeks, which is pretty good. And we'll to read the next focus after this, just because let's see if there's anything here. No, there's not. Uh, I completed the Brest-Litovsk payment for June. 
you get 100 more political power, and more daily political power, and then more consumer goods, and then more stability. Nice. And then after that's radical socialism. Oh, it's, ah, 56 days, much better. Workers organize a strike. Several strikes have begun to er erupt within major Russian cities. The workers claim the economic depression to be caused by the capitalist system of the factories they are working for. This is considered unacceptable in our country, and we have ordered the local police to intervene and get the strikes. Suppress them. Maybe we should do some stuff over here then. Oh, yeah, maybe we should start the economic reforms. Maybe that's good. Maybe the workers need it. Maybe that. Maybe ah, reforms. What do we need motorized for? There you go. Uh, how are we doing? Well, we still have aid coming along. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. How are our, our ships? They're training. I'm going to split you guys in half. There you go. Four and four. Not great, but not bad. Let's see. Capital ship armor. Sooner begins independence. Great job. Also, there is no historical or ahistorical. There's just play. So, yeah. There's, there's just... You never know what's going to happen. Wait. Oh! He has no aim there. Oh! Raided a weapon depot. Well, that's not good. Several reports have reached the government that weapon depots have been raided by several groups of strikers. Due to the current unstable state of our nation, we're unable to stop the raids. Let's just hope these weapons don't fall into the wrong hands. They probably will. Alright, yeah, we want to support them. So we get a little bit more stability, which is nice. But, yeah, I guess we could do economic reforms. I don't know if this is supposed to go first, but that's alright. And, actually, what is after this? Russian youth to get more population, which is nice. We currently have a po core population of almost 100 million. Improve artillery, improve our... Oh, wait. This doesn't even connect. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Does not connect. It's almost out of time. Let's go get some dispersed industry for more gun output. And grab some construction, too. Alright. Still 9 out of 15. Not bad. Not great. But better light tanks. Shall we? Oof. And we can only get 0.87... Not really changed too much. Start of the payment, December payment. Not bad, not bad. I ever did another weapon depot. Oh no. That's open then soon. Very nice. Very, very nice. At least this is literally just five weeks, which is super good. Hopefully, we don't have a major civil war that would cause a lot of issues for everyone here. Having civil wars are expensive and very, very costly. Not that I would know personally, but you know, that probably is what it means. Cool. After that, reorganize the taxation. We lose political power. Not bad. Uh, I don't want to lose political power, though. We do get weekly stability. Sure, reorganize it. Oh, it's 90 days. Holy crap. Oh, it's 105 days. We'll do the long one first, just because we get infrastructure and civilian factories and such like that. Hopefully, there's some sort of conflict here, but Kerensky is looking kind of handsome. Not bad. Kind of blastered, but not bad. All right, so what else do we have around here? Chief of the Air Force? Valovsky. Focus on cavalry. Okay, we have to get that guy. Konev. Orokosovsky. Sergei. Submarinos. Uh, we, uh, also for ships. Uh, the, oh, God. Again? Seriously, man? We already don't have guns, so. Uh, what else do we got? Infantry. Pietro Rangel. Nice. Army drill. DVP holds the power. Okay, interesting. Kornilov. Not bad. And von Rennenkampf. Doesn't sound very German there, but okay. Or sound very Russian there. Okay. Partial mobilization. Why not? Chief of the Air Force. All right. Shushkevich. Konstantin Vershinin and Kuznetsov. Hey, Kolchak. Oh, yeah, we'll probably go with Kolchak. As much as I'd like to get more naval XP, we'll hopefully have enough. Kolchak, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10% is not bad. And how about industry? Also, I have a couple of uh, tea here. Black tea. Hmm. Oh, hello, a second revolution. Early in the morning, yet more riots erupted in the major civil Russian cities. By this time, the workers had armed themselves with weapons. Several local police forces have lost control within many cities to add insult to the injury. Bolshevik leader Joseph Stalin's announced full support for what he calls another revolution against the regime. We now know with full certainty the Bolsheviks were the organizers of all the strikes, riots, and raids that have hit us during the last few weeks. We must prepare ourselves to end a full-blown civil war against the Bolshevik menace. We should have expected this. All right, then. Sure. And I don't have my tanks up here yet, but we're on the river, so... I guess we'll see what happens. I'm not sure where we can, like, actually pierce into their booties. Uh, but we'll go around and start, and hopefully they don't really kill us off too hard. Um, I, did, I really don't want to click on that, so. Let's see. Planarinos. Bingo, bingo, bongo, bingo. I just want to defend. Um, sure. Yeah, Germany, yeah. I'll take more guns. Oh, wow. Look, everyone wants to help us out. Yeah, buddies. What I, one thing I do like about uh, the update they did for the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mob... The portraits, I think, are a little bit more updated. I could be wrong about that, but that looks pretty cool, I would say. Uh, yeah, I, I like the the shadowed background, which I asshole added my thumbnails. I like the uh, shadow background quite a bit. 
You could use a little more shadow on his cheeks. Another one? Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me, son? Let's get the tanks down here first. I don't want to push without tanks, which is just a bad idea. Yeah. All right, can we uh, go in? Can we risk Sartsen? Hopefully. Oh, no. A thing went away. All right, let's see if we can beat Mr. Joseph Daddy Stolarino. I want you to begin attacking there. I want half you guys to go here, and then the other half to go right there. So we can circle two whole duties. Duties by dudes. Come on, win, win, win. Oh, crud. Oh, they already lost. Oh, they... Oh, the French commune's there. Oh, hello. Now they're attacking us quite a bit. Okay. Well, that's okay. Just hold for now. Hang out. Have a good time. Oh, wait, what? They beat us. But how do they beat us? Well, that's not good. Guys, just, just hold for now. Hang out and hold. Wow, our guys are garbage. They're literally just straight garbage. Yeah, we better hold the line then. We've just been pushed out completely. Holy bad words. Well, we've lost 6,000 versus 11,000. Not nearly good enough, but wow. I am a little surprised at that. Then again, this debuff is probably not very good for us. Now, is it Second Russian Revolution? It'll be removed by June, which would be very good. Um, Wow. Attack bonus and defense against the country. Wow, that is... Trying to balance this out a little bit here. Oh, hello. Um, I don't like this, so... We gotta get rid of these guys here. Yeah, we gotta focus heavily on defense. We gotta get some land auction going. Oh, okay then. Oh, uh, actually, let's get some more defense. That's an immediate upgrade, so... Wow. Yeah, no, you gotta hold out. I don't care who you be. Yeah, no. Push him back. Push him back. Oh, yeah. What is our strength like? Organization's 50. Literally just guys with guns. And a, and a little bit of artillery. All I want them to do is just hold. That's all you gotta do is just hold, man. Just hold, hold, hold. Hold yourself. Hold each other. Reorganize their taxation. Mm, let's focus on infantry first. Because we could really use that extra general down there. And we're going to really focus on a lot of our infantry equipment and just infantry in general. So, all right, we lost thirteen thousand versus forty-one thousand. Not bad. Italy gains independence. Good for you, job. Good for you, job. Italy. You should be able to win here. I'm going to force the attack. These guys aren't great, but yeah, we can't really break over the river, or we won't let them break over the river as best as possible. Well then. Oh, hello. Are you struggling here? Get out of here, you piece of the garbage. Garbage. How have we not won yet here? Because the divisions are garbage until we get to June. Seriously, holy crap, this is not good. Oh, well, it is fierce. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, let's go look. Okay, they have more fighters than us. That's not good. <laughs> Construction too. Not bad, not bad. Uh, disperse industry. Let's go and go grab some of the superior firepower. Mm -hmm. I don't always choose Grant Battle Plan. I'm going to try to go with that one this time. Why? Because I can. L literally no other reason, just because I can. So we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. But not bad. Does anyone else have upgrades? No. It's already May. we got one more month we got to survive out with. Head on in, boys. Good luck. Help them out. Help them out. Nice. Now we can get that general whenever he's ready. Russian youth don't really need that. Let's reorganize our taxation. Not bad. Hey, you know what? I'm kind of okay with these long day focuses, or a couple week focuses, just because I'm more interested in fighting the army, the enemy's army right now, than actually doing anything else. So, I see why the devs must have put it in there for that. So, makes sense. It actually makes a lot of sense. Yep, they're definitely trying something, Germany. What are you attacking for? Why are you attacking like that? Hey, we're bringing back over. Now that's nice. 
We killed off about 110,000. We've lost 30,000 ourselves. Not too bad. Any red? Yes, a little bit right there. Unknown focus. Got plenty of manpower. We have more to factories, though. Stockpile-wise, they have nothing left. Is he on fire? He must be inflamed. Hmm. French tanks. Oh, French tanks. No, 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 no. You're gonna die here. Force it. Doesn't matter to me. Does not matter. Literally throw your bodies against them if you have to. Nope. Your time is pretty much going to be over. Like, almost immediately. That's not good. Yeah, we got literally less than a week for this. So, send you guys back up here. And we're going to send this little pimple and pop it. Uh, hold. Just get to where you need to be first. And... Oh. There it goes. There it gone. Oh, we can actually go to War Economy. That actually might be better to do, but we'll get the General first. Head on in. There you go. Now, you guys force it. You force them to die. There you go. Good job, guys. And these guys are pieces of what we call doo-doo. And we don't like doo-doo, usually. Maybe sometimes. It has its uses. And now we no longer get those stupid debuffs. Which, they're not really stupid. They make sense. All right, boys, you wanted war, and wool is what we going to give you. Election, wartime exception. The Russian Republic is in a state of war normally. An election would be held at this time, but being in the middle of an important conflict may argue that we cannot afford to spend time on political campaigning or a change of leadership if that should come about. Meanwhile, others claim that declaring the ongoing war a valid reason for skipping elections is the first step towards eroding Russian democracy. After all, letting military matters take precedence over the people's influence would be a slippery slope. Nah, we going to go straight through with elections. Very nice. Oh, they actually took back the starts. Yeah, no, I am taking that back 100%. 100%. Force it. Force them to die. We're going to go around here first and then get the starts in. Um, oh, this is not good. I don't like this. No one would like this. All right, seems like it's time to get Mr. Rokosovsky. Oh, where is he? No. Oh, is he down here? Wait, that's 10% more attack. Where did the guy go? Oh, he's right here. More attack and defense. Hey, look, another tank division. Nice. Did they push us back here? That's not cool. Oh, Bulgaria. I love Bulgaria. Are you guys trying to stop us from achieving our dreams of Russian reunification? How dare you? Ah, trench warfare. I love it. Let's grab some grand battle planning. I love radio. Uh, radar. It's still 37. We're doing some of that good stuff. Anything over here? Anything over here? Ah, planes. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, Marinos. Are you seriously trying to leave? No, 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 no. We don't believe in you leaving. We believe in you dying. That's more like it. Let's see if you guys help support the attack. Because the tanks are going to go full in. I, I don't care. Oh. oh, there goes the French tanks. Nice. Reorganize their taxation. And revive the Russian banks. Not bad, not bad. All right, what are you doing, son? Uh, I want you to go this way. Very cool. They wanted to come over the river, and we'll teach them a lesson, maybe. If possible. Uh, let's see. We're going to use tactical bombers for this campaign as well. If we can't break over, that's okay. Hold, guys. That's okay. Let's kill them right here, then. Push them back. Push them back. There you go, guys. Good job. Plenty of army XP now. At least enough for now. Uh, let's go right here. And I want to get right here. I want to break over that river area. Now, we can't do a full-scale attack yet, but we're getting there. If 
58,000 losses versus 161,000. Not bad, not bad. Oh, what else do we have around here? Actually, we got enough for this. We want tactical bombers, so force rotation. We shall. And let's go ahead and try it. Can you guys actually get over here? No, you cannot. Go, tanks, go! Actually, oh, America wants to help out. Everyone wants to help out. Nice! Thank you, world. Thank you. We appreciate your contributions to the war effort against communism. We're getting there. Actually, with you guys, I'm just going to put you all right here. And then I'll put you right here. It's fine. There you go. That should just give us that slight amount of extra oomph we need to win the battle here. Send them until, until they die. Let them reorganize the line. I'm going to try to thin out their line as much as possible here. Um, I don't mind maybe attacking here, though. There you go. You might actually be able to win there, which would be nice. All right, tankies, you're getting attacked. Okay, then. Take the infantry, take half you guys, go right there, and then you go right there as well. See what you can do. Maybe help support the attack, get, drink a little bit more tea, have a good time, you know, the basics. Hey, not bad. You know, they really want to leave. Well, they can leave and go die. Oh, the French divisions might be coming back soon then. Well, if you want to leave, you can go this way too. There you go, force it. And then all the rest of you guys force it here too. Oh, the Balkan League. Oh boy. Come on, guys. Come on, break them. Are they... What are they up to? 17.2. Slowly dropping. Oh, they're little by Zukov. He's got to die. Come on, go, 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 go. Actually, can you get in there too? That'd be kind of nice. No? Alright, revive the Russian national banks. Oh, we can't do that one yet? No? Okay. A new constitution, shall we? Nice. Come on, you should be able to break these guys. Oh, the French tanks are back in there. Are you kidding me, Tan? That's so dumb. Attack here, then. Um, you might be able to win here, maybe. No? Okay. You all suck. Including you, light tanks. Pathetic. Just use yourselves as a meat shield. We're going to go over here, then. Now we got a lot of political power. Let's go ahead and go to War Economy. And switch out our light tanks. God dang, these guys suck. Uh, we need to really get better tanks. There you go. Uh, throw some artillery on here. Throw some armored recon. I know we don't have the specs for this. Enough supply for this. How's m oh, we're not even making motorizer, are we? Yemen is joining the Arabian League. Let's go over there. Cool. So we can use more guns, though. Why are you so weak? It's because I made you that way. Excuse me. Just leave. The infantry should be able to deal with this, so... And do that. There you go. Defensive line. If we lose that one tile, whatever. Alright, so we're down here. Force rotation is nice. It is almost 1938, so let's go and grab some of this. There you go. Nice. And they can attack these. I kind of did this so they would attack us a whole lot here, too, so it doesn't really matter. Good, 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 good. Nice. If we can't win somewhere, we'll go somewhere else and try to win. And they're dead. Nice. Just in case, break over here before they reinforce this area, please. That'd be very good. And we did. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. It wouldn't really matter too much, but let's go boom, boom. Shall we? Oh, there goes the Balkans. Goodbye, Balkans. What are you doing here, son? No, no, no. You hang out. Hang out. Feel good about yourself, son. A lot of stuff. Could we actually attack and win here, maybe? Oh, look at that. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. 
Uh, Ship-wise, interwar heavy hulls, because we can. Any more divisions? Yes, please. There you go. Not bad. And you should be able to help out here, right? There you go. And another division encircled. Thumbs up from us. Um, take the tank arenos. Head on into here if you can. Come on. Come on, game. Let's do it. Together, shall we? And you can help support the attack. You can help support the attack. What do we got right here? Not bad. Keep on going in. Keep them in place. There you go. Goodbye, sir. Alright, so not bad so far. We've killed off uh, over 200,000. Too bad the French are back here. Grand battle plan. Oh, even more max planning. Nice. Prepare defenses because we can. And for this one, what shall we do? Where can we pierce our little booties? Right here. A little booty piercing. Which sounds really painful and disgusting, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there goes those guys. Captain of Industry. Well, let's go grab that since I'm still building new stuff up anyways all the time. War in the desert. That's all right. And a new constitution. Not bad. Let's grab ban radical socialism. We love it. We love it. Not bad. Not bad. It's 1938. Happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. I wonder if this is actually going to work or not. But it just might. Go, 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 go. You're defending? It doesn't look like you're defending. Not bad. Just don't lose too much and you'll do okay. There you go. And, hey, four more divisions encircled. I'll probably end the episode once this is all done and dusted with, too. Oh, they canceled the lonely. That sucks. We're still out 9,100 guns, but we're good on artillery. Hey, those guys died. Nice. Um, dude, I don't know why you keep trying to attack that way. I get it, like, it's good to attack there, but, dude, like, relax. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, give about five more seconds. Okay, good enough. Five more seconds really means whatever I feel like. Of one, two, three, four, five divisions, hopefully, will be encircled. And they can't do anything about that, hopefully. And there we go. There we go. All right, let's go. All in, everyone. You, me, and a whole lot of Soviet mistakes. Not bad. Uh, we're suffering down here a little bit, but they still can't do anything, so that's fine with me. All right, so we've probably killed over 300,000, right? Oh, right, we're close. We're very close to 300,000. Mm, I spy with my four eyes, something like that. We can circle another horse division, not bad. These guys are so speedy, I love it. We just need more tanks. Holy bad words, we need more tanks. Oh man, 1300. Holy cow, that's a lot of new need. Alright, good enough, let's go. And then we'll begin the attack over there. Help them out. It's only one division, but, you know, whatever. Come on. You actually go in, then. Hope this tank journal is learning a lot. Uh, I'd like to insert these guys, too, but... Hey, America, yes, please, we'll take some stuff. Mr. FDR. Very cool. Alright, so we need to break over the river, most definitely. Mm, but where? Let's go right here, shall we? One, two, three. Yes, please. Give him about five seconds. 
Oh, look at that. We got more political power. Mm hmm. We could do that, but I don't feel like it yet. St. Petersburg. What else do we have around here? Uh, I know what we want. We want more attack. And then strengthen the Republic. Oh, we're not done paying yet, huh? Let's do industrial investment then. It's only 35 days, not bad. I think that's a little more than five seconds, I would say, right? They should be able to do this. Should, as a key word there. And we are struggling a little bit, but they are as well. Uh, it looks like we're getting more, at least, guns in this division, which is nice. You go over there, too. Hmm. Don't let these guys move. No, 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 no. Oh, Romania. I love Romania. Hold on, hold on. You're going to win. You, are, I'm not going to accept failure here. If I lose all tank divisions, so be it. Just go in here. They want to do this type of crap to us? So be it. So be it. Well, we try to use tanks to do a good job. The tanks refuse to do a good job. Big disappointment, I'd say. There you go. And what else? Cruiser as well. Let's grab some improved catapult planes. Very nice. Industrial investment programs. Very good. Let's grab invest in Moscow. Military factories, civilian factories, St. Petersburg. Ah, uh, St. Petersburg. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Two civvies, one civvies, one civvies. I don't want more civvies. Invest in the capital. Are these guys cheating or something? What the heck is going on here? Why are they not dying? There you go. Thank you. My goodness, that took way too long. All right. Well, they should still be out of guns completely, right? Oh, we got, we're out of guns too, so. They got even more manpower. Let's see. Divisions. They're on. Oh, let's see what type of conscription level they're on. Hmm. I want more speed. We are speed here. Let's go this way. Alright, reorganized taxation is done. You guys will help support the attack here next once these guys are done attacking us. Thank you. And send half you guys here immediately. Send this guy to do the same thing. We've got one, two, three, four divisions. We'll be dead hopefully very soon. Thank you very much. There you go. There you go. Help support the attack right there, and awesome. Nineteen thirty-eight. Let's grab some of this. Now supplies over here on the right. It's not very good. Let's come on down here, and we'll try to break a little bit more over the river. And we'll end the episode as soon as we win this war. Wow, you guys are taking forever. What is wrong with you guys? What one kilometer? Come on, man. Air superiority, infrastructure. Just just rev up those treads. Let's go in. After that, I'm going to just do a general attack. We should be able to win. Should. No guarantee, of course, but should. Oh, there goes our Ferdinand. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Hey, invest in the capital, eh? Well, let's go and do this. Develop St. Petersburg area. Why not? And then immediately go here, 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 here. I'm going to do a general attack. Now, I'm going to keep these guys in place as much as humanly possible as we're trying to encircle some of these guys in the west. Oh, they're doing last stand, too. Look at that. They are absolutely doing last stand. How dare you do that? Oh, no, 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 no. Look at that. Now they're now it's dropping. That is sad. But smart by the AI to do that. Keep one guy here, too. Well, do that so we don't get completely encircled. Computer machine, let's grab some radio detection. And, oh, you get attacked, huh? Well, time to show these stupid pieces of garbage up. Commies, not even once. Um, I'd recommend helping out here, probably, and then helping out here. We're going to lose quite a few guys. Over 121,000, over half a million dead. Well, they deserve it, so. Go, go, go. Where do we have to go? Baku? Where's the capital? Oh, Krasnodar. Nice. 
I want you guys to get to the Crimea or oh, so Soviet? No, no, no. I want to hang them up by their by uh, fish wire. The Soviet leader Joseph Stalin has been found dead in the city of Krasnodar. The remaining communist leaders and generals have either committed suicide or have surrendered towards our advancing forces. All hostilities have officially come to an end, according to Konstantin Rodez Rodezevsky. We finally delivered the Bolsheviks. Bolsheviks. Stability war support. Nice. Not bad. Now, that might have taken longer than what's supposed to happen. I don't know. Just because this is literally my second attempt in this mod, so. Cool. Uh, I lied. Maybe we'll do one more focus just to get the next one done. So. What? They, you cancel at least. What, what, what is that garbage about? Industrial. Actually, let's go to limit exports, probably. I want to keep whatever we got here. So, not bad. Not great. Not bad. We still got to expand ourselves a little bit more. And we got about 35 days left. But, yeah, that was a pretty bloody conflict. Now, I know there's not a huge... Oh, what the heck happened to Austria? I was so focused on the war. Oh, my goodness. Dona Adriabund or Pact... Oh, my goodness. Oh, the Arabian League. Oh, I can't send volunteers. Um, Do we like these guys? I don't know. Let's take a look here. We might send volunteers and maybe seek allies. Oh, there goes those guys. Russia sphere, move to the caucus, attack Armenia. Ooh. Republic of Austria, German Empire. No, I don't really want to help them out. If anything, enemy in the east, deal with Japan? Well, we might do that, we might not. If that's the case, I don't mind helping out the Chinese. Maybe we can help them out. How many guys can we send? Three? Three. Mmm, sending tanks is probably a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyways, because we can. Ah, there it is. Nice. Some more divisions over here. And where are our planes? Do we have any... No, we have no planes. Okay. Good luck, tanks. We're definitely going to need you up there. One point one nine. And stability. Sure, why not? Oh, wait. Do we need to do this for realsies? Okay, then we have to do that for realsies. Okay, we'll, we'll do that one next. But we shall conclude with this episode with railway investments because I want to get another research slot. So... Hope you enjoyed this first episode in the Duel of the Victory... Victory of the Duel Monarchy mod. Playing as, of course, the Russian Republic. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Check out the mod for yourself if you own Arts of Iron 4, and I will see you tomorrow. As we shall explore what the rest of the mod has to offer, as well as probably beating up some more people. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.